Hey guys, it's Melanie. Welcome to my channel. Today starts another reading vlog, so stay tuned. So it's ridiculously early here. It's like six o'clock in the morning. I've already been up for an hour. Here in about half an hour, I am going to leave and go over to the other house and work on laying mulch. Yes, at 6.30 in the morning, I'm gonna go and lay mulch because it's getting way too hot here during the daytime. So sunrise is at like 6.29. So I'm planning on being out there around the time the sun comes up and working in, until either I'm done, I'm too tired, or like 11 o'clock when it gets, starts getting too hot because it's getting up to like around 100 degrees here and I can't stay outside for very long without just sweat just pouring off me and getting like overheated and all of that stuff. So yeah, I decided to wake up super early so I could do it before it gets really hot. I think it starts getting to be about like 80 degrees around nine o'clock in the morning and then it just steadily goes up. So I think we reach mid 80s, mid to high 80s around 10 so <laughs> it's crazy how hot it's gonna get so I'm just going to go and do what I can while I have some light but I'm not dying from the heat so I thought I'd take you along with me yet again cuz I'm so close yet so far <laughs> all right well let's go get started with this day So it's currently 2.19 a.m. on what day? Tuesday, July 2nd. I'm up really late because I have been editing my vlog from last week. Let's see, so today I did the mulch and then afterwards I came back and I showered and I blow dried my hair and did my makeup and all of that stuff and then Marty and I did some running around errands and then he had to go to this place and be tortured because he had um, a nerve conduction test that had to be done today because he's had this pain in his arm and this weird thing going on with his hand for a while and so they had to like zap his nerves and stuff to try to figure out what was the problem so yeah they tortured him and then after that we came back and I was so tired I could barely stay awake so as soon as we got back from that like three o'clock in the afternoon we both took a nap because I couldn't I couldn't even keep my eyes open to make it home so we took a nap and slept until like six or something like that slept for like almost three hours and then we got up and we went out to dinner and then for the most part, I have been working on editing this video and getting it uploaded. Right now it's all edited, it's saved, it's being like uploaded as we speak onto YouTube. And I just have to go and do all the cards and all that stuff. And then I can go to bed. <sighs> I've totally messed my schedule up 
with taking a nap and staying up this late. And my friend Donna ended up going by the house, like, I guess right after I left this morning and saw that there were still a couple of bags of mulch. So she laid those down for me because I left like, I want to say it was about seven or eight bags of mulch that I didn't lay down because, well, <laughs> Um, I stepped in this very angry mound of ants and they just kind of swarmed my foot and started attacking me and it did not feel good. So I was like, okay, I'm done. I was already hot and sweaty and sore because I had 30 bags of mulch to do today and I got about 22 or 23 bags laid down before the ants finally got me. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna go. And Donna happened to come by right after that and laid down the rest for me. So that was pretty cool. So getting close to finally having that house ready. I can't wait for it to be ready. I can't wait for it to be sold. Cause paying for both houses sucks. <laughs> okay, looks like this video has finished uploading. So I'm going to get off here and get that taken care of. And then I'm going to bed. So I will talk to you well, I was going to say tomorrow, but it's already tomorrow, so I'll talk to you later. <laughs> so, apparently I had a copyright issue with my video, and it would let me put my video up, but I couldn't monetize it, and pretty much all my effort would go towards the artist, and... This artist actually reached out to me asking if I would put their music in my videos and if they can fix it where I don't have this copyright issue then yeah I will but um, otherwise no. <laughs> so I thought while I'm waiting for this to resave because uh, I had to replace the music I actually have another Green Kid Crafts and a, a Finders Seekers box. And these are sent to me from Crate Joy. I think this is along the lines of the Deadbolt Mystery Society. It's another mystery box, which is fun. So we're going to Marty's parents' house this weekend because Marty's grandmother's birthday is on July 4th. And so they're going to do a little birthday party for her. So we're going to go for that. And maybe we'll bring one of these mystery boxes with us and do stuff while we're there. Because I think it'd be fun. Alright. Inside the green kids craft. It looks like this. Xander really liked the other one. That we got. So I think it's cool that we got a second one. So the theme for this box. Is the human body. And. There's all kinds of cool stuff. In the little. Magazine there. Okay so we have. Model lungs experiment. Cut out the lungs, nose, and mouth and follow instructions in your booklet for completing this experiment. Okay, so in here it's got all of your projects. So the first project, here's our little model lungs thing. The first project is the organs of the body. So you have the human body poster, the organs stickers, and I guess that's all that goes for that project. So just those. The next project is the five senses. And it says what you get. We have the five senses chart. And the five senses stickers. And there's instructions that go along with both of those projects. Project number three is model lungs. So let's see what you get for that. You get some straws. And then inside this little baggie here we have glue dots, tape, baggies. And then we have the mouth, face, and lungs cut out. And it says what you need from home is scissors. And then project four is articulated hand and what you get for that is you have this baggie of goodies here with and this foam sheet so the foam sheet then you have straws yarn glue and some beads and it says what you need from home is scissors and a pencil and there's like a hidden pictures and a brain maze 
There's a little build a story, careers for kids, reading suggestions. Cool. And there's also the little badge that goes on the poster that came in the last box. This is such a cool box. I think this box is a little maybe on the young side for Xander versus the last box. But it's also a very educational one, which is pretty cool. Okay, now for the Finder Seekers box. Okay, opening this one up. It looks like that. Oh, got a big envelope in there. Okay, all kinds of stuff in this envelope. All right, let me pull it all out here. Okay, so I found the little page that says start here. This says Finder Seekers. Hello, fellow seeker. After 26 shameful years without winning a single Stanley Cup title, the otherwise amiable Canadians have become hostile. A group of unruly hockey fans have stolen the shiny Stanley Cup trophy and taken it home to Toronto, Ontario, where they believe the cup belongs. The Society of Seekers has been enlisted to hunt down the culprits and return the trophy to its rightful winners. The only clue found at the scene of the crime was a collection of souvenir postcards featuring Toronto attractions. To complete your mission, travel to each of these locations by visiting the websites found on each of the postcards. At each location, you'll need to solve a puzzle to earn a jo hockey jersey. When you have collected all 10 jerseys, visit seekersunite.com forward slash jerseys to finish your mission. Inside the box should include everything you need. 10 postcards... So our postcards, we have the Distillery, Dundas Square, CN Tower, Casa Loma, Fort York, Skunk World Tour, Niagara Falls, Lake Ontario, Hockey Hall of Fame, Nathan Phillips Square, and that's all of those. Five bottle caps. They're in this little plastic thing, but here's what this one looks like. A bottle puzzle. Here's our bottle puzzle. A, a souvenir pencil. This says Toronto Go Raptors. Okay. A strip of paper with curious writings. A waterfall puzzle. A hockey puck. Paper with random letters. And a farmer's market poster. You'll need to make good use of the internet and we encourage you to join the private Facebook group, Finder Seekers User Group, so you can collaborate with your other with other seekers, but beware of spoilers there. What are you waiting for? Happy seeking. Lucy Calder, Chief Seer, Society of Seekers. And this is a difficult level of three out of five. And it says completion time is one and a half to three hours. Fun. I think these are super cool. I'm not sure if it's the same company as the Deadbolt Mystery Society I got before or not. But either way, I think they're awesome and I want to do them. <laughs> And if you don't already know, I am a Crate Joy affiliate. Crate Joy sent me these boxes to, I guess, review and show off to you. And if you're interested in any of these, I'll have a link down in the description. And if there are any discount codes, I will make sure to include those as well for you. I guess now I've just got to wait for this video to save. Maybe I'll go take my makeup off while it's saving. All right. I probably won't talk to you again until I get some sleep. So I'll talk to you later. So it's currently like 1.20 in the morning on Wednesday, July 3rd. I have been up and filming for what feels like hours. Well, it actually has been many, many hours of filming. 
but I got a lot filmed and now I just need to go to sleep but first I wanted to kind of catch you up on my reading at this point so during the summertime reads readathon I didn't tell you about my buddy reads that I was doing that was outside of the readathon because they weren't going to be finished or completing any challenges or anything like that I was still doing them I just wasn't talking about them in the vlog for that but I have been continuing the pillars of the earth by Ken Follett and right now I'm on page 532 so over halfway at this point still really really enjoying this and I've also continued my buddy read of Petals on the Wind by V.C. Andrews and finished chapter 32 today we're still doing a chapter a day so this should actually be finished on the 6th and I've also started reading Stone Mothers by Erin Kelly and I've just barely gotten into this. I'm on page 13 at this point. So I'm getting some reading done but now I've got to go to bed. Well first I gotta go take off this makeup and then I'm gonna go to bed because I am tired. <laughs> All right I'll talk to you tomorrow. So it is nearly six o'clock on Wednesday is it Wednesday? Yes. Wednesday, July 3rd, and I've gotten a little bit more reading done of Pillars of the Earth, and I'm currently on page 589 of this. That's really all I have read since my last check-in, but I got some book mail. Yay, book mail! <laughs> Okay, so first off, this package from Amazon, I actually know what this is because I pre-ordered something and I'm excited. It is Rainbow Bright by Whitley, William, Pamphil, Hip, Pinto, and Esposito. <laughs> this is volume one, Dynamite, which when I came across this on Amazon, I was just like, oh my gosh, I had no idea that this was going to be a graphic novel series. And I grew up with Rainbow Bright. I absolutely adored Rainbow Bright. I had like everything that was Rainbow Bright. And this is the story of how she became Rainbow Bright, which I think is really cool. I'm so excited. This is gonna be a lot of fun. It's super cute. Oh, okay. So excited for this. I kind of wanna just drop everything else I'm reading and read that. Don't know if I will, but I really want to. <laughs> um, okay. Next up, I have this package here. I think it's book mail. It feels like maybe it's a book or multiple books. I don't know. So I'm just gonna have to open it up and see. Okay, so inside this package was another package. <laughs> okay, so this is a book that I ordered off of Amazon, but I ordered a used copy and it's in really good condition and it's so pretty. It is The Giver Quartet by Lois Lowry. And okay, is this not gorgeous? And then it's got sprayed edges oh it is so pretty and it even has a ribbon bookmark right there this is so gorgeous anyway i had becca read this as part of her homeschool curriculum and she really really enjoyed it and then the movie came out and I watched the movie and really enjoyed it. She said they did a great job with the movie and I really wanted to read The Giver and realize that it was part of a series. And now Xander is going to be reading The Giver as part of his summer reading for school for next year. So I went ahead and got this beautiful book here. It's an omnibus of all four, I think, of the, yeah. The quadrat. All four of the books in the Giver series. And I'm super excited for this. And it is just so pretty. 
And last but certainly not least is Unplugged Book Box, which was kindly, kindly sent to me by both Unplugged and Crate Joy. I'll have a link down there to take you directly to this box. And if you're at all interested in any Crate Joy boxes, click that link, it'll take you there. Crate Joy is such a cool platform, I guess. It's, when I describe it to people, I say it's like an online shopping mall for subscription boxes. Literally, there is a box for anybody. Like, no matter what kind of thing you're interested in, they have a subscription box for it. You can just like put in like a search item, any topic, whether it be baking or um, knitting or hunting or escape rooms or whatever. You just type in something that you're interested in and they will show you the subscription boxes that fit that. And yeah, I really like Crate Joy. <laughs> so if you're interested, go check them out. I'm excited to see what's in this box. I had no idea they were gonna send me another one, so I'm super excited. Okay, this looks like so. Okay, so the this is the July Young Adult box, and the theme is stars are only visible in darkness. That's really pretty. Opening up the tissue paper, and there are worms. Lots and lots of them. Okay. There's like little things hidden in the worm, so I have to be careful not to accidentally throw something away. Okay, so this is the first little thing I see here, and it's so cute. I love that they wrap stuff. Okay, so it is this cute little enamel pin that says, Till the End of the Line, and it's uh, referencing Bucky. It says here, this is collectible number two of our Summer Solstice collectible series inspired by Sarah's favorite fandoms. Best friends since childhood, Bucky Barnes and Steve Rogers are inseparable on both schoolyard and battlefield. This is an unplugged exclusive. Very cool. Okay, then there's another little wrapped thing here. Okay, this says winter is over. Apply generously to prevent dragon burns. This is a broad spectrum SPF coconut breeze sunscreen lotion. <gasps> okay, this is so cute. It says, may the odds be ever in your favor. Tracker Jacker repellent lotion bar. Citronella blended with lavender and cedar. And this is by Badger Face Beauty Supply. cute. It smells kind of nice. Um, I'm actually going to be using both of these here in just a little while because yeah it's evening but the sun's still going to be out for a couple more hours here so I'm going to use this and this because we're going to go and watch some fireworks tonight because apparently there's multiple places that you can see fireworks today and tomorrow and the closest place to me is today. So I want to keep the bugs off me during all of that. Because I live in Tennessee. We got a lot of bugs. Okay, next is a candle by Flickerwix. This is Rizan High Lord of the Night Court. And it says, to the stars who listen and the dreams that are answered. And let's smell it. I don't know how to describe this. It's fruity, but there's something else. Maybe a little musky. I don't know. But it's black with um, some glitter on it. It smells really good. It actually looks purple in the, cam in the camera. Okay, next up. What? Cool. Okay, this says, sometimes it's better not to look back. And it's a cooler. 
Like, how neat. And it's got a place for your like water bottle or whatever in the side. That's really cool. Then there's like a little gratitude journal here. It says write about a tough time where you remain optimistic or that you persevered through. And then there's what gives you hope and who are you most grateful for right now and why. And then on the back we have our playlist, which is really cool, and the little Spotify playlist that you can go to. I think these playlists are really cool. Then we have our book. Ooh, what is this? It's called The Chosen by Taryn Mat Matharu. Let's see if this is a letter from the author in here. Yes, it says, you have been chosen. Dear reader, thank you so much for grabbing an unplugged book box and giving The Chosen a read. I'd love to tell you more about the book, which I consider my love letter to Earth's history. I grew up watching historical films from, Gladi from Gladiator to Braveheart to The Last Samurai, not to mention the prehistoric saga of the Jurassic franchise. My favorite books were those that touched on our past from War Horse to the Eagle of the Ninth, but I could never settle on one favorite time period. I wanted to write about them all. The Chosen has allowed me to do just that. History has always fascinated me, both what we do know, but also what we don't. From entire armies that marched to unknown fates, ancient cities once discovered and then lost to the midst of time, or treasure-laden ships that vanished without a trace. There are many mysteries and disappearances through our past. In The Chosen, these mysteries are answered. What if these disappeared groups and objects were taken to another realm, traveling across time and space? What if someone was taking these people? Imagine warriors from history snatched from their time and made players into a deadly game. People surviving in a wilderness populated by creatures from our prim primeval beginnings made to scavenge for weapons and tools among stolen artifacts, strewn through the jungle, making homes and sunken, sunken warships and lost temples, and all the while forced to battle monstrous creatures at the whim of mysterious overlords. But the greatest question of all is how would a modern teenager affair in such a place? You'll have to read The Chosen to find out. Interesting. It's like Hunger Games if they were dropped into like a place where there's dinosaurs and stuff like that. That's kind of the vibe I was getting from that. And he's also the author of the Summoner series. <laughs> this cover is very similar to those kind of covers. There's also a signed book plate. And then we have the theme reveal for the August box, which is Off the Grid. What a cool, fun box. I mean, it really is preparing me for summertime goodness. I'm excited. I'm like tickled pink that they sent me not one, but two of these boxes. I'm really hoping they send me August as well. Because, well, for one, I really want to have the complete collection of the pins. Hi, Katniss. Plus, I'm really enjoying these boxes. Are you enjoying them? <laughs> All right, I'm going to go for now. And, well, I'll be taking you with me, I suppose, when I go to watch the fireworks. So, I'll just talk to you later. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hi, Wes. Hey, Wes. Hey, what's up? <laughs> <laughs>
it's almost nine o'clock on Thursday, July 4th. And let's see, today I went to the pool with Donna and her family and a bunch of other people and they had fun and games and I meant to bring my camera along but I left to go over there in a rush and forgot like everything I needed like a towel, um, sunblock, sunglasses, and my camera. Luckily Donna had sunblock <laughs> and they even had a pair of sunglasses I was able to borrow which was very 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 generous of them and we had lots of fun. I got more sun. I don't know if you can see it at all, but I did get more sun. Then I came back and got showered and started with packing and stuff. And I've also gotten some reading done. Okay. And I don't know if I told you, but I'm packing because we're leaving to go tomorrow to Marty's parents' house for the weekend because his grandmother is turning 90, I think. They're having a big birthday party and stuff for her, so we're going there for the weekend. But anyway, my reading. I've continued with Pillars of the Earth by Ken Follett, and I'm currently on page 645. And where's my other book? I brought this to the pool with me and read a little bit of it. I'm only on page 34 still. <sighs> I'm having a little bit of a struggle getting into it. So after I got home from the pool, I put it down and I worked on Pillars of the Earth. But I had to stop that because I reached where we're supposed to get for this week. So I decided to pick up one of my other books that's on my July TBR and I picked up Birthday by Meredith Russo. And okay, I'm only like 20 pages in, but I had to stop because I was like, where is this town? I was like, I don't know of a place called Thebes in Tennessee. So I started Googling it and I was like taking the other clues that were mentioned in here, like other things that are in this town and putting the pieces together and I figured out where this is. And so I started doing a little bit more research and I'm pretty sure that I'm right. And it's here. <laughs> It is in the Chattanooga area. And what makes me believe this is... Hi Katniss. What makes me believe this is that apparently Meredith Russo lives here in Chattanooga. Which I just thought was really cool. And I had to share that. So yeah, I'm going to keep reading it. I'm enjoying it so far. And uh, I'll tell you a little bit more about it as I get more into it. And my battery's flashing. But yeah, I, I just thought that was super cool. <laughs> okay. See, baby. <laughs> so it's nearly 10 a.m. on Thursday. Wait, no, Friday. Yes, Friday, July 5th. And I'm just kind of getting everything together because we're going to be leaving this afternoon to head to Marty's parents' house. And I just printed off my, um, well, all of the prompts that people submitted for the Goblet of Fire. So I'm going to cut those out there into little strips to put into my goblet. It's going to be really cool. And, oh my gosh. Okay, so y'all don't get to see a whole lot of her because she's kind of skittish. But... Missy here has decided she's going to hang out on the back of my chair. Isn't she pretty? Hey, Missy. Hi. Okay, no, I'm sorry. She's a sweet girl sometimes. Sometimes she's not so sweet. <laughs> right now she's being sweet. She is the diva of our kitties. Hi. She's a fluffy girl too. <laughs> and there she goes. Anyway, I also got my summer Walmart box, Walmart beauty box. 
And if you don't already know, this box is, well, it's $5 a month, but technically it's a free subscription box and you just pay $5 for shipping and not $5 a month, it's $5 a season. So this only comes out four times a year and yeah, it's trial size, sample size, some full size products, there's coupons, there's all kinds of stuff. And I mean, for five bucks, it's always worth it. Okay, so here's what I got. I do need to actually go and change my address for this subscription box because it got mailed to my other house. <laughs> Okay, what goodies do we have in here? Okay, so the first thing is Done in One Brow Pomade by Salon Perfect. This is in the color Dark Brown, which I mean, depending on how my hair color is at the time, Dark Brown is sometimes okay. It's cool though, it comes with like the little pomade stuff and it also comes with like a dual sided brush. So here is what it looks like and the little brush is right here. It's got a spoolie on one side and like a, an angled brush on this side. I don't know how much this costs in the store, but this is probably pretty close to the value of the box at least. All right, what's this next thing? It's Egyptian Magic All Purpose Skin Cream. It says 100% natural balm with honey and olive oil to hydrate and nourish lips, face, and body. Okay. It's just a little tub here. Let's check it out. Okay, so it looks like Visine or something. It actually feels nice on my lips. And it doesn't have like any kind of medicine-y taste or anything doesn't have much of a taste at all. It just feels really nice. Okay, next we have this Hello Anti-Plaque and Whitening Fluoride-Free Toothpaste in Natural Peppermint with Tea Tree and Coconut Oil. Huh. Looks like that. Smells pepperminty. It is sealed, but I, it's a strong enough smell that I can smell it through the seal. And then we have some dry shampoo, Dove Refresh and Care in the scent Fresh Coconut. Dry shampoo is always handy to have. There's a little thing, you can do a survey and be entered to win a gift card. There's a little info sheet on the Hello Toothpaste. Oh, what's this? Purely Inspired Collagen Peptides, Grass-Fed and Pasture-Raised. Vitality Blend with Biotin. This is an unflavored dietary supplement. It says to mix one serving, one whole pouch, with eight ounces of water or a beverage of choice and take once daily. All right. This has 18 amino acids, 18 grams of protein, 20 grams of collagen peptides, collagen types one and three, and it's easy to digest. Gluten-free, dairy-free, no sugar added, non-GMO, keto certified, and paleo certified. Cool. And then we have a purifying black charcoal mask, hydration and moisture. Nice. And then a little like makeup bag. Cool. So all this for five bucks is really, really not bad. I'll pay for this subscription myself. I hold five dollars every quarter. So yeah, twenty dollars a year will get you a Walmart beauty box. I love it. Sometimes, you know, I'll get toothpaste in here. Oh, I, a lot of times I don't even have to buy toothpaste because of how often it comes in these boxes. I said that for a long time because it was like every month I would get toothpaste, but then they stopped doing that. <laughs> so every once in a while I still get it. But toothpaste, deodorant, mascara, all of those things like come in here fairly regularly, like full size of them. Well, maybe not full size of toothpaste. 
sometimes it's full size, sometimes it's like the travel size, but still. And yeah, I, I mean, I think I would use every single one of these products. I'll even try out the collagen thing, because why not? It also introduces me to products that I might not have heard of or might not have gotten for myself. Like, I never heard of that little Egyptian magic stuff. And it's pretty nice on your lips. All right, I'm gonna go because I've got to finish getting all of my stuff together and I gotta eat something because I haven't eaten yet. So I'll just talk to you later. Probably after we're in Florence sometime. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Grandma. Happy birthday to you. It's about a quarter till seven on Monday, July 8th. I didn't really vlog anything except for a singing happy birthday to Marty's grandmother. I was really, really, really struggling with allergies while I was there. Like I was, I was worried I was getting sick because my allergies were so, so bad. And I mean, I deal with my allergies all the time, but my house is usually the worst because of the cats, but I don't know what happened, but something really, really got me that time while we were there, and I was a mess, and sniffling and sneezing and stuffy and just kind of miserable, <laughs> so I didn't really vlog much, but I did get some reading done, so I thought I'd just wrap up everything that I've read so far this in that week. So I got to page 645 in Pillars of the Earth. Really, really enjoying this. And well, I'll be finishing this this month. So making my way through it. I finished my buddy read of Petals in the Wind by V.C. Andrews and have actually started just a tiny bit if there be thorns and Right now, at this point, I'm on page 24 of this, so literally just getting started. But for Petals on the Wind, I think I would give that three stars. That's kind of how I'm feeling about this series. It's sort of a, a three-star series. I know some people really, really love it, but I don't know. It's just, I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of too much for me, I think. But anyway, Marty and I finished Ruins by Dan Wells, which is the third and final book in the Partial series, and we both give that four stars. Very much enjoyed that. If you don't know what that's about, it's sort of a world in which there are two species, I guess you'd call them. We've got humans, and then we've got the bioengineered partials, which the humans made to kind of fight for them in a war and then after the war was over and they kind of integrated into society they were almost treated like slave labor and things like that they were given menial jobs and well they weren't treated as good as humans and well they revolted and well the humans ended up with this virus called Aryan that was pretty much wiping out the entire civilization of humans and they blamed the partials for it and then the partials have this expiration date programmed into them and well of course they blame the humans because the humans were the ones that designed them and Kira our main character is trying to come up with a solution for everything and to help and save the world pretty much and if everybody could just get along, things would be so much better. 
Okay, so after we finished listening to that, we actually started listening to Middle Game by Sean and McGuire. And we're currently on page 146 of this. It has a very, very, very weird start. Um, the first, I don't know, 10, 15 pages were fairly confusing because we were also listening to the audiobook. But after that, it, it got better and more easy to follow. I was actually following along in the book um, after those first 10 to 15 pages because I was so confused. <laughs> but this is about this guy named Reed has created sets of twins that he's trying to essentially ascend to godhood and he wants to ascend with them kind of to claim their power or whatever and i don't really know what else to say without spoiling anything and you know just don't based on what we've read so far but i'm really enjoying it it's very much weird <laughs> and it definitely has the feel of that kind of nonsense world like in wayward children so if you're not a fan of wayward children you wouldn't like this but if you do like wayward children then you probably would enjoy this a lot i read a little bit of stone mothers i only got to page 34 of this this is i don't know i'm really struggling to get into this book I'd pick it up and I'd read maybe just a page or two and get distracted by something else. It's just not really gripping me. And this is supposed to be a fast paced thrills, um, suspense kind of thing. This woman, our main character, she has some kind of history with this Nazareth mental hospital as a child. And then now her husband has bought her one of these high-end apartments that the mental hospital has been turned into and she hasn't told him any of the stuff that happened whatever it was that happened and he doesn't know anything about her history with this mental hospital or why she is terrified of this place and why she really does not like the idea of this apartment but that's all I really know and it's really slow start we're still just like okay i got this apartment i don't like it 35 pages in that's pretty much it i am going to keep trying though because I, it was sent to me by request so fingers crossed that it gets better soon and oh and i finished birthday i started and finished birthday and absolutely loved it. Um, that's by Meredith Russo. I gave it five stars. It is freaking fantastic. It oh, it broke my heart. It was amazing. I highly, highly, highly recommend it. So this is written by an On Voices author. It is a, a trans coming out story. And it's about these two boys, Eric and Morgan. And they were both born on the exact same day in the same place and their family have been friends for many many years and it follows them on their birthday every year starting from their 13th birthday where Morgan really wants to tell his friend Eric that he thinks he's supposed to be a girl and there are things that kind of stop him from telling and it's really just fear and it follows them year after year as Morgan struggles with this being afraid to come out and tell his friend and to tell his dad what's going on. And he's dealing with having lost his mother. And also every year he has this letter or a gift from his mother. And Eric is dealing with knowing that there's something wrong with Morgan and trying to get Morgan to share what it is and also dealing with his own feelings towards Morgan because he loves Morgan and they've been best friends forever and he's worried that he's going to 
lose Morgan to whatever it is that is bothering him so much. And it's such a good story. I highly, 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 highly recommend it. Also, cool side note, turns out the author lives here in Chattanooga, which is amazing. So if you, you guys have any questions for this author that you might want to know the answers to, comment down below because I'm going to see if maybe, possibly one day, I can get her to do an interview with me on my channel. I think that would be amazing. So yeah, comment down below any suggestions for questions you might have. Well, that's all for this week, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, click that subscribe button down below. And until next time, remember to always be completely you.